Hello Libra, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we are doing readings for May 2024. We are using the Robin Wood Tarot and the Anglo... Uh, no, not, we're not using the Anglo-Saxon Futhark. I'm sorry. We are using the Elder Futhark on Amethyst Stones. That's where the thing came from because there's an A involved. So let's get started with a card from the Robin Wood Tarot and we have the Ace of Wands. You are about to start something new that has to do with expressing your will in the world and also just expression. So expressing yourself in the world, it's very exciting. You're basically going to be moving forward this month on a new thing. It's going to start brand new where you are going to be expressing yourself in the world, expressing your will in the world, what you want to be doing. It's exciting. Let's get some runes down. So, Amethyst runes. That definitely went. You know, Peritho has made a lot of appearances today. I think May is going to be a surprising month for a lot of us. <laughs> well, that doesn't have a reversal, but I'll turn it right way up. <laughs> Outcome for Libra. There we go. Very nice. Your central issue this month, Libra, is... Peritho. Peritho is the rune of the lot box. This has to do with surprises and fate. It's upright, so there is basically things are being revealed. Um, you are opening up into the world and revealing what was always there, but is now being expressed in the world. It's very exciting. So it's it's uh, it's a surprise, but it's a surprise that was always there, and it's it's expressing yourself in the world. It's like fate in a good way. <laughs> so it's just it's all about it's all going to be about revelations this month. It's going to be about revealing and opening up and revealing <laughs> this. So what is what led up to this? We have Ansu's reversed. Ansu's is the rune of communication and manifestation. You've been doing this inwardly for a while. This has been something that's been on your mind for a while. You've been practicing, I think. It's almost like you've been practicing the reveal. Um, a lot of inner communication. You've been communicating with yourself on this, but you've been keeping silent outwardly on it. This is the month. May is the month where you are going to reveal <laughs> this. Very exciting. And you've had you've had time. You've been building up to this. What is going to help you is we have Hagalaz, which is the rune of the hailstorm. This has to do... I often read this as chaos and things that are out of your control, but I really... Given the image on the card and given what's happening, I'm going to read this as nature. This is you being a force of nature. Um, and just reminding yourself that you too are a force of nature. You know, that's basically you are that. Um, so you are just bringing this onto the scene. You're letting it happen. Like this is, you are just bursting out with this and letting it become as it will. Like it's just basically here it is, and then all of it, <laughs> and just letting it, letting it happen. Um, it's you know, when, like when you're when you're creating something, and it's just there's that stage of just like letting the creation happen, and it's wild and it's raw and it's crazy and it's feeling chaotic and maybe a little bit out of your control, but it's coming out, and you'll deal with that later because <laughs> it's because the important thing is to get it out. So the nature element of it is definitely going to help. Just like recognizing that no, as we reveal this as I express this, there is a real force of nature element to it. And that's fantastic. That's what's going to help you the most is just like allowing for that. What isn't going to help is we have Lagos reversed. Lagos is the rune of the water. So it's emotion, intuition, heart, and flow. It is reversed on the lower line. So basically don't stop the flow when it's flowing. I, I did not stop water where it would flow <laughs> as the as they, they did in the Book of the Dead. So they, they did, there's a bit where they where you say all the things you didn't do, and that's one of them. But anyway, I digress. So what isn't going to help is not letting it flow. You've got to let it flow. You've just got to let it come out. So you may be tempted because it's a lot, and it's kind of scary because it's just force of nature stuff. But if you start to hesitate, it was like, no, we have to get this out. This is the time. This is the month. So bring yourself back up to we're just like letting it out. We're letting this storm happen, which is you. <laughs> it's very, very exciting. So that's <clears throat> basically what's going to help the most. This is month is going to be all about revealing this and just starting this. And again, you've led up to this. You've, you've worked on this up to this point. So this is you're ready. 
What this is all going to lead you to is great strength. We have Urus, which is the rune of the wild ox. Um, this has to do with strength, health, and stubbornness in that you're digging in your hooves and you are immovable. Um, you're very powerful. You're grounded. Um, you're strong and healthy and, and good. And this is definitely important for that. Um, this will solidify your appearance as a great, strong aurochs <laughs> in the world. Um, you're going to just let this out and then you're gonna be like, okay, now I've done that. I'm grounded. Maybe you will then deal with um, like the editing part of it. But it's just basically this is going to, you're going to be really feeling very, very strong and grounded by the end of the month in a really good way and healthy in good ways. Um, by the end of the month, having done this, you're going to be like, all right, <laughs> I am the Orox. So <laughs> you'll be able to face any storm, really. So that's excellent. So that, Libra, is your reading for May 2024. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.